Everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. He's making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. Bad Intentions is making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Gentlemen, one thing, protect yourself at all times. Okay? Let's catch him up. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? Now he's putting his punches together. Oh! on the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Good block by Bad Intentions. He just missed that shot up top. He was stunned and staggered moments ago. Now he's right back in the fight looking pretty good. Yeah, some guys take a little longer to recover. One of his strengths is he recovers real fast. Good block there by Bad Intentions. And in round number one, you already get the sense that they have no intentions of this fight going the distance. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves, that these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Holy cow! Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Blocks away that headshot. Turns fire with a left hand. Final ten seconds of round number one. as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be no to Thomas to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Good return fire that time. Able to dismiss it. And now a 
another left. Both men digging in with uppercuts. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. And that's where he wants his man opposite him, right against the ropes. Good defense, just covering up down low. Get in there, let's go. Circle. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Good defense upstairs to stey away from that offensive assault. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. And from long range, he's able to get his target he wanted. And when you have somebody throwing long punches, what you don't want to do is what he did. Pull back straight. Blocks that punch. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Good block by bad intentions. Last ten seconds. That was a miss by bad intentions. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a non-stop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Comes right back with a shot of his own. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right... Holy cow! Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Hey, did you see that right there? Lands the counter. Got him badly. Look at that. Smart veteran move. Hurt, so Keep you busy, hug. Guys. Come exactly on, what busy. the doctor ordered. <laughs> Boy, what guts. What guts to stay in there and gather yourself again after he was taking a beating. Yeah, what guts, what instincts, and what a set of whiskers. Blocked by bad intentions. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. He has walked through bullets, bazookas, and bombs. Wow! Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Good looking counter. 
punch. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautifully. Well, Costamato used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, when he's been in doubt, he's jab. When he's been sure of himself, he's jab. As you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by bad intentions. So here we are at the end of the round. And this is the only chance these guys get to not throw at each other. Yeah, this is a break. You know, a lot of times fighters find their own way of taking break during the fight, during the round. These guys really need this minute rest. Okay, listen. When he misses you with a punch, counter, counter. Keep your hands moving. Keep busy. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Fires right back at him. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Good job staying away from the danger there. Defense up top. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Nice block by bad intentions. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Able to show you his blocking ability. He gets off with a combination up top. And a sharp counter punch by bad intentions. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy is making a silent agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him.
vamos. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, when special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Locks that belt line well. Locks away that headshot. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Good block by bad intentions. I don't know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Good way to protect the midsection. Nice block by bad intentions. They are bringing out the best in each other. I mean, you can just tell when they meet up in the middle of this ring, they're bringing out the best in each other. And a smart counterpunch by bad intentions. Halfway through round six. moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say tune in everybody should be watching this right i have a cell phone i might do that right now <laughs> start dialing One. The right hand scores well.
final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Keep working the chest. Good block there by bad intentions. We've reached the halfway point of this battle. Real good fight here. Tough to get a sense of who's really up. I could see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, what is a testament? Holy cow! He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. You see how he does that right there? How he just pushes away. Blocks that punch. Come on, side to side. He missed with that headshot. He likes to fight on the outside, but right now he's taking some punishment. Oh, he's standing up tall. He's on the outside, but he's allowing his opponent to get into places where he can find them. Standing straight up. It. Here comes another punch. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. Bad Intentions is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. At the halfway point of round seven. Blocked by bad intentions. He's just not concentrating on the body as a target here, Teddy. No, and you know, you wouldn't mind if he didn't have to. In other words, it all depends on the scenario. This scenario says that he should be going to the body and he should recognize that. And that's part of the talent of a fighter, recognition, that you have to recognize where the opportunities are. Mark the counter punch by bad intentions. Just ten seconds to go in this round. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Blocks that belt line well. I don't want to criticize him too much, Teddy, because by going defensive here after being stunned, hey, this might be the right strategy to employ. As long as he doesn't stay with it too long. It's the right strategy to employ right now at this moment. But if you're going to win the fight, you have to find a way quickly down the road to get back to where you can score points and survive and be responsible defensively. to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot tucks those elbows in blocks the body shot gets rid of that it was intended for his head body shot. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Able to 
dismiss it. And a good three-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Looking right hand after he got hit. Comes right back at him with a left hand. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Nice block by Bad Intentions. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with Bad Intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, he's got to beat the count of ten here. One, two, three, four. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Good block. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. How about a return to sender with the left hand? A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by bad intentions. <laughs> wow, is he defensively sound. I am loving this round right now. I mean, this is a candidate for round of the year. Just great action. open right there you can see the cut very nice job landing that counter punch getting away from one that was coming at him Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap, they let him in beautifully. He didn't use G's, he used distance. find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. 
protecting his head well with his guard. Bad intentions is just thinking too much about what happened earlier. You can see by how tentative he's being, but he still doesn't he have to put forth some type of offense, Teddy. Yeah, well, first of all, he has to have a memory lapse. He has to, to a certain degree, forget what's happened before and know that this is a new round and get back into an offensive swing. Targeted counter punch by bad intentions. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Right on the mark, double jab. up along the belt line blocks that one not able to land the headshot well just watching the way he's fighting right now you can tell he's not the same fighter he was before the knockdown Teddy he comes back to the corner what's the first thing you want to get across to him I tell him listen yeah he got knocked out but it was for a reason you threw your jab you didn't move your head now Get back to throwing your jab. Don't stop throwing your jab. You're going to lose this fight. But move your head after the jab, and that right hand that dropped you, it'll go right over your shoulder. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Bro, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Well off the mark by bad intentions. We come to the end of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Well, it's a very closely contested fight, isn't it? Yeah, it has been, Joe, but it's going to be up now to the judges. Hopefully they have their eyes wide open because they're going to have to look really closely, not just at the action overall, but who's landed the cleaner, more effective punches. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. able to turn defense into offense nice counter punch and what you notice in here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs he gets caught Thank <laughs> you. 
Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Nice block. here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside as always with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> you know? They, they these, do! <laughs> they, these guys... They don't real. have the reach. No, they They can't don't. reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table, but great guys. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Bad intentions. He's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. I don't think that blood's going to be a big deal in terms of his vision, it's on the cheek. He just doesn't want any cut to worsen. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Back to the head he goes. Lock there. A minute to go in what has been a memorable round. Great stuff from these two. Good combination to the head. Able to show you his blocking ability. Wow! Bad intentions. His legs look shaky. He was hurt. It's like a light switch just went on. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? This was a very, very good fight. Close. This fight is over. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Ben. I feel like I just read a book. You know, I know a little bit more about this guy now. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.